Collagen supplements, are they halal? Do they really work? Today we're going to talk about it. Hello, hello and welcome to Skincare Simplified. My name is Nipun, your skincare bestie, now a certified skincare consultant. And in today's video, we will be answering one of the most frequently asked questions on my social media channels. What is collagen? Recommend us a good collagen. Does collagen really work? We're going to answer all of that. Before I get started, let me remind you the September giveaways on two lucky winners will win skincare boxes worth 10,000 rupees or 500 dirhams. You will see questions on the screen throughout this video. So do remember to give me your answers in the comments below. Refer back to the older videos to make sure your participation is in all the videos. Now let's get started. Before we get started, let me ask you one question. Have We've all seen these videos on TikTok, Instagram of women promoting collagen supplements, collagen drinks, powders, whatever it may be. But have you ever seen one person promote any of these things if they don't have an affiliate link, a coupon code, if they're not directly or indirectly selling these products? Maybe not. And that is a very important point to note. Collagen supplements as an industry is a 6.6% billion dollar industry in the United States as of 2022. It's a booming industry that is really guided and geared with multi-level marketing, all of these uh, social media influencer kind of marketing channels. And this lets people to get extremely influenced by the, the product, which is collagen, which itself is not bad. It is just that it is not well researched. There aren't enough regulated studies that tell you whether or not it works. So what is collagen? It is a group of proteins, 28 proteins to be specific, that actually make collagen as a molecule that exists in our body. Our body naturally produces collagen, but from the age of 30 onwards, the quality of collagen that is being produced actually diminishes and the amount of collagen we produce also diminishes. There are a lot of other factors that impact the quality of collagen that your body produces. These would be things like your lifestyle, whether you're a smoker, non-smoker, how much time do you spend in the sun, what is the level of sun protection that you use. Number three, very important, what is the kind of food that you're eating? Just chewing up on gummies or having your collagen powder or even having capsules will not ensure that you actually have better looking skin and hair and I will explain to you why. Whatever collagen you're consuming needs to be synthesized in your body. It needs to be broken down into amino acids so that it can be absorbed into your bloodstream. That's number one. And therefore the quality of collagen that you're taking will make a huge impact. Now here let me tell you, and this is very important if you're a Muslim brother or a sister watching this video, that the studies that have been done on the effectiveness of collagen, number one, were not controlled studies in the sense they were done on a very small group of people a long while ago. Number two, all of these studies were done where people were using collagen that was mostly extracted out of pig fat, which as we all know is not halal. Now in the market, we have other forms of collagen, which is vegan, which comes out of soy protein and things like that. We have marine collagen that comes out of fish scales. Having said that, there aren't enough studies on whether marine collagen has the same impact on boosting the impact of collagen in the body or whether a vegan collagen has uh, that kind of impact. All of these studies, most of them were done when the collagen used in the process was extracted out of pig fat, which is not halal. So that brings me to my first point. If you're a Muslim brother or sister and you want to start taking uh, any form of collagen, you need to be very, very careful of the brand you're choosing. You need to read through ingredients. You need to be extremely careful of reading through ingredients and all, because sometimes people can cover it up when they say animal fat. Like they're not specifying what animal fat it is. They're also not specifying how was that animal actually uh, slaughtered, which and in both these cases, the choice of animal, the way it was slaughtered could make these products non-halal. So you need to be extremely, extremely careful when you're choosing a collagen supplement. Number two, like I said, marine collagen or vegan collagen, there is not enough research backing it up that it actually helps with you know, improving the quality of collagen in your body. 
Now let me tell you very quickly, what is it that you can do if, if you are today already taking collagen and I'm, I, by no means am I telling you not to take collagen, it's really up to you. It is my job to put out the facts on the table and then you can take an informed decision. Now let me quickly tell you that if you are taking collagen, what are the things that you need to do? Number one, if you are taking collagen, you need to increase the amount of vitamin C that you are taking in your diet because vitamin C actually helps synthesize collagen. You're taking collagen, you're not getting your vitamin C, it's not gonna work. Now, a lot of collagen supplements do add vitamin C to help with the synthesization process, but additional vitamin C is always a good idea. Otherwise, all of that collagen is not gonna synthesize, you're really gonna get no benefit. Number two, you can have all the collagen in the world, but if you are not reapplying your sunscreen every two hours, if you're not using enough sunscreen and obviously reapplying it, all of that is absolutely wasted because it's not gonna help. Number three, you need to have an antioxidant in your diet, and I mean you need to eat good nutritious diet to have antioxidants in your diet and i'm going to speak about that as well if you're not doing all of these things and just having your collagen supplements my loves you're getting literally zero benefits also if you're doing all of this and smoking you're again getting zero benefits so be very careful when you get started on collagen make sure that it is not just one thing that you're adding to your life it has to be an entire lifestyle change as i said in the beginning of the video Collagen is something your body naturally produces. So when you're taking a collagen supplement, you're not feeding your body collagen. You're feeding your body ingredients that will help it synthesize and build collagen. It is not directly ingesting collagen into your body. That never happens. Whatever you take has to be broken down, synthesized into amino acids so your body can build better collagen. I'm 36 years old and my most preferred way of including collagen into my diet or making sure that my body can actually produce high quality collagen is by including foods in my lifestyle that I can actually eat for the rest of my life, hopefully. The one thing that I do, which is an absolute must, is include a bone broth at least twice a week. So during the summer times, it's a good old chicken bone broth, what I lovingly call, and a lot of people from the Indian subcontinent, we call it yakni. The second thing that I like to do during the winter months is actually use a different meat. So I like to use goat meat, Trotters is an amazing source of protein that can actually help your body build collagen. But it's not just animal fat. You can get sources of protein that can help build collagen from legumes, lentils, mushrooms. Um, you can also have it from egg and fish. What I like to do is also make sure that I get the right amount of antioxidants and the vitamin A, vitamin C that I need by following the color wheel. If you look at this color wheel, you'll see all of these beautiful colors. I just try to ensure that during the week, I can get all of these colors in my diet through food. So for the red, I depend on my beetroot. I love to just include it a few pieces every day in a salad. That's all you need. You don't need to have a lot. You just need everything in moderation. So a few pieces of beetroot in your salad, for the orange, I love my mandarins, the oranges, carrots, also sweet potato, green leafy vegetables is super important for the iron, the antioxidants that it provides. I personally hate kale, I can never chew it, but I love my spinach and during the uh, winter months, I love fenugreek, which is methi, supremely important, great for your, uh, your hair specifically. So that is something that I like to include. In addition to that, I on a daily basis have a berry smoothie and it is super simple. I just get frozen berries from the supermarket, toss them into a blender it makes an amazing breakfast option it's also a great midday snack in addition to that chia seeds are fantastic a chia pudding one to two times a week maybe three times a week for breakfast with some nuts and fruits is ideal it's filling it's super quick it is something that you make overnight so it doesn't even take time in the morning so these are some simple ways that i like to include high quality foods in my diet because god be my witness i eat a lot of junk so it's not like i eat a very uh, i eat healthy food all the time no i don't i love my burgers i love my french fries i could officially be the ambassador of french fries uh, for the world that's how much i love it but i basically try and reduce all of that or at least make sure that my body is getting the right sources of vitamins because that is the best way for your body to naturally process synthesize all of these ingredients 
Now, I know a lot of you would have clicked this video trying to find that one magic anti-aging portion, the collagen powder that's actually life-changing. But my friends, beauty, skincare, anti-aging, it's not about that one scoop of collagen. It's not about those two serums that you apply. It is about your overall health and wellness. Your general health makes a lot of difference. Skincare is a marathon. It is not a sprint. I've always maintained it. So making sure that you can get a good healthy diet will have have such a massive impact on your overall health not just your skin and hair this is the end of the video if you like this video then do like this video consider subscribing to the channel i will see you on wednesday the next video is going to be on whitening injection another very very popular question that i get asked all the time so stay tuned for that you would have seen questions throughout the video on your screen so make sure you give me your answers in the comments below to qualify for the giveaway as usual i'm going to attach how to skincare playlist that will answer all of your basic skincare concerns till next time take great care of yourself i love you all so much bye